Vivek Kaju, former Indian ambassador to Afghanistan, is with us now for more on the Kubushan Jadav case. Welcome to you. Thank you for Thank being you. with us in studio today. The first meeting in three years. What is the significance of this? Great significance. This is the first opportunity that Jadav will get to meet uh, Indian officials. Uh, I'm confident that India would have negotiated the terms of consular access hard with, the, with Pakistan to ensure that Jadav gains the confidence that not only the government but that the country is behind him in his great predicament. Jadav has been through very difficult times. He was abducted more than three years ago. And uh, we really do not know what the Pakistanis have dragged him through. So uh, this is the first opportunity that Jadav would have got to say what actually went wrong with him. And the first opportunity that our officials would really get to assess his situation, the kind of condition he is in, the way he's been treated. That is the first point. The second is that uh, the ICJ, the, the International Court of Justice, had instructed Pakistan that because it had denied Jadav's counselor access, this denial had impacted adversely on his situation through a judicial proceeding. And they had asked and they've asked Pakistan to review and reconsider all these aspects fully. So Pakistan is in a manner of speaking on trial here. And Indian officials would have had the opportunity to point all this out to him. Lastly, it normally, and I see no reason why this shouldn't apply in this case, counselor access is also meant to provide good legal representation to someone who's been charged with a crime in a foreign country. So all these aspects are combined and I think it will only be appropriate if the government today takes the country into confidence and shares the conditions in which uh, Jadav councillor access was negotiated, what was finally uh, decided in this in this respect and also to share broadly in such detail as is possible because naturally there is a confidentiality aspect here but in such detail as is possible how did our consular officials find his condition absolutely and I mean, after a three year long wait um, of course you said that uh, Pakistan is in a way on trial um, their first offer of consular access was conditional and that is in co direct uh, contravention with the Geneva with the Vienna co Convention what does this mean take us through uh, the Vienna con the purpose of the Vienna Convention of, and the purpose of consular access is simple it is to ensure that the national of a country or a person claiming to be the national of a country is able to meet the officials of that country. Uh, it can be to establish his nationality. But after that, the national has to share his concerns, his predicament, his troubles with his country's representatives. And that procedure has to have a certain degree of confidentiality. It can't be uh, it's not like a lawyer-client privilege entirely because there's a gray area. But certainly it can't be that, that uh, people from the host country will be, will be uh, hearing in completely on what is transpiring between a, a person and his country's officials. Because if that is so, and all that is being videographed, if that is so, then they, he'll not be in a position to speak freely and tell his, his woes to the country, his country's representatives. The, what the Pakistanis were really saying was that, were telling Jadav in a manner of speaking that we'll see what you are saying. 
and after that he'll go back to Pakistani custody. Yeah. That is something not correct and therefore if we rejected that it was correct. But what we have accepted is something that now needs to be known mm. widely so that the country gets some confidence, our people get some confidence about the condition that Jadav has met, uh, our officials and his uh, physical and mental status. Mm, absolutely. And as you, as you point out, it was very important for India to stand firmly absolutely. on what was prescribed. Absolutely. Do you have any reactions to the significance of the timing, just in terms of uh, the UN General Assembly meet that will be coming up very shortly, with Pakistan being on, on stage and in, in some ways considered to be on trial in this? I think the Pakistanis are trying to project to the international community, especially at this stage, that uh, they are a responsible country and a responsible government. Not only here, but if you see oh, here where they say that they are following the, the, uh, the decision of the court, but even in other matters, they are really trying uh, this repair exercise, trying to change the narrative uh, from Pakistan as the epicenter of terrorism to Pakistan as a responsible country and in some ways then trying to put India in the dock. Uh, if that is the, 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 uh, the narrative as I see Pakistan building, then over the next uh, few weeks including and in this case too they will project that they have acted responsibly. 